Welcome to Curious Chronicles, where we dive deep into the hidden meanings of cinema's most iconic films. I'm Brave, your virtual film reviewer, here to guide you through the intricate layers of storytelling, symbolism, and themes that often go unnoticed on the surface. Today, we're exploring The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, the epic conclusion to Peter Jackson's trilogy, where heroes rise, battles are fought, and the fate of Middle-earth hangs in the balance. But beyond its grand scale and dramatic final moments, this film offers a wealth of philosophical questions and thought-provoking insights that can challenge our understanding of good, evil, and sacrifice. The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, directed by Peter Jackson, is the epic conclusion to the Lord of the Rings trilogy, a film that continues the tale of courage, sacrifice, and the battle between good and evil. The movie culminates in the final push to destroy the One Ring and defeat the Dark Lord Sauron. But beyond the breathtaking visuals, intense battles, and powerful character arcs, there lies a film that speaks deeply to themes of power, friendship, sacrifice, and the cyclical nature of history. At its surface, The Return of the King is a classic hero's journey. Frodo, Sam, Gandalf, Aragorn, and their companions face overwhelming odds in the final battle to save Middle-earth. The grandeur of the epic battle sequences, particularly the Siege of Minas Tirith and the Battle of the Pelennor Fields, is matched by intimate moments, such as Frodo and Sam's unwavering loyalty, Aragorn's ascension to kinghood, and the symbolic destruction of the Ring. It's a tale of triumph, of characters rising above their limitations and fears to meet their destiny. However, the film is more than just a high fantasy adventure. There are deeper layers to explore, particularly in how the characters are used to represent aspects of human nature and society. Aragorn, for example, isn't just a heroic king in the making. He represents the timeless struggle of the reluctant leader. He is burdened with the weight of his lineage and destiny but must wrestle with self-doubt and fear of failure. His story arc asks a powerful question, what makes a true leader? Is it the crown they wear, or is it their willingness to step up in times of crisis, even when the odds are stacked against them? Then there is Frodo, who symbolizes the fragility of the human spirit. He is tasked with bearing the greatest burden, the One Ring, and his journey is not just physical but deeply psychological. His struggles with the Ring's corrupting influence, culminating in his eventual failure to destroy it, speak to the idea that no one, not even the purest of hearts, is immune to temptation and power. His relationship with Sam, marked by loyalty and sacrifice, is a beautiful commentary on the importance of companionship and support during the darkest moments. Sam's undying loyalty serves as a reminder that even when the path seems impossible, love and friendship can sustain us. A fascinating alternative perspective is to view Sauron's influence not just as a literal dark force, but as a representation of totalitarian power and the corrupting nature of unchecked ambition. In many ways, Sauron's drive for domination mirrors the rise of oppressive regimes throughout history, where the hunger for control leads to destruction and loss of humanity. The One Ring, a symbol of absolute power, holds the promise of ultimate control, yet it exacts an irreversible toll on those who seek to wield it. Sauron's absence in the physical realm is a reminder that tyranny doesn't always need a visible leader, it can exist in ideologies, systems, and institutions that perpetuate fear and control. The film also explores the theme of the passing of time and the end of eras. Aragorn's ascension as king represents the renewal of hope, yet it also signals the end of the age of men. His coronation marks the transition into a new chapter in Middle-earth, one where elves, dwarves, and other fantastical beings fade into legend. The movie's closing moments, which show Frodo sailing west with Gandalf, Elrond, and Bilbo, are symbolic of the departure of an old world, one that is slowly being forgotten. The ring, which has been such a central part of the story, is destroyed, but it's clear that the world itself will never be the same. The victory over Sauron is bittersweet, for it also signifies the end of innocence and the inevitability of change. On a symbolic level, the movie can be interpreted as a reflection on the nature of human struggle itself. Every character in The Return of the King faces some form of internal conflict, whether it's Frodo's battle with the ring, Aragorn's internal question of whether he is worthy to lead, or Gollum's constant internal war between good and evil. The recurring theme of choice and the weight of responsibility speaks to the complexity of human existence. The journey to destroy the ring is as much about personal growth and moral choices as it is about physical survival. It challenges the notion that victory is achieved purely by external forces, and instead posits that true success is the ability to overcome one's internal demons. 
Moreover, the return of the king isn't just about good triumphing over evil, it's about the resilience of the human spirit, and the understanding that victory often comes with sacrifice. The price of peace, as represented by Frodo, Sam, and Aragorn, is not simply the cost of the battles fought, but the personal toll it takes on each character. Frodo's inability to fully heal after the destruction of the ring speaks to the idea that some wounds, whether physical or psychological, cannot be fully healed, and that some sacrifices, though necessary, leave scars that define us. Ultimately, The Return of the King is more than a conclusion to a fantasy story. It is an exploration of the complexity of human nature, the interplay between power and corruption, and the emotional and psychological weight of carrying burdens. It invites us to reflect on the values we hold dear, the leaders we follow, and the cost of making choices in a world that often seems divided between light and darkness. Through its rich tapestry of characters and themes, the movie asks us, how do we confront our fears? How do we choose what is truly important? And ultimately, what are we willing to sacrifice for the greater good? In doing so, it leaves us with a sense of wonder and contemplation, long after the credits roll. Thank you for tuning in to Curious Chronicles. I'm brave, and I hope today's deep dive into the return of the king has sparked some curiosity about the deeper meanings of this epic film. If you're fascinated by the hidden layers in cinema, make sure to subscribe and stay curious, because there's always more to discover in the world of film. See you next time.